Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy NSL Dotun guys. And actually guys I found some story interesting on the internet and in this reaction video guys uh, in this video this is uh, we are gonna we are we will be checking out we we will be checking out uh going inside this Russian Bellonia super yacht. Actually this is a, this is good. this is supposed to be interesting guys. This is a Russian Belonian super yacht, and yeah, I would like us to go together. Let's look at this because it's interesting um, knowing more about yacht, about you know, Russians, the Russians, Belonians, you know, the Belonians worldwide. And this is actually what I'm making this video, guys. If you're new to this channel or you would like to be part, part of the family, just make sure do not forget to subscribe, guys. That, to go a long way uh, for uh, for the channel, you guys. So, guys, let's dive into this. I absolutely love yachts. That should come as no surprise. I absolutely love yachts. That should come as no surprise. I yeah, love just I love laying yachts, on the sun deck, breathing yachts. in the tropical breeze of a distant island as I take a vintage wine from my wine cellar, lounging in the pool when it's time to cool off, maybe even taking a relaxing dip in my ice bath after a day out in the sun. For me, yachts are a warm escape that are best enjoyed with a cold drink in hand. It is my yacht after all, and I can do whatever I want. But there's one yacht that's slowly changing my mind on that. One yacht that's opening my eyes up to the possibility of luxury in a very different climate. Luxury in a polar climate. Today, we're going to talk about La Dacha, an ice-breaking super yacht that brings opulence to the Arctic and Antarctic for a price that is. Antarctic for a price. La Dacha. Actually, the name of this super yacht is La Dacha, guys. I think uh, that's the name of the yacht. Uh, that's the name the billionaire gave this yacht, La Dacha. <laughs> that is sweet name. La Dacha is owned by Oleg Tinkov, a Russian billionaire. Oleg has made his billions in every way you can imagine. He's the founder of a bank, Tinkov Bank, the founder of Tinkov Restaurants, and the founder of frozen food factories, a household appliance company, and brewing companies. In other words, the guy just likes making money, and he makes a lot of it. Currently, wow. Oleg is worth $1.2 billion, Oleg. and though he owns La Dacha, he's making money off of it. As well, he is a businessman after all. La Dacha rents out for eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars per week. That's eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars, meaning you could either buy a really, really nice house or you could take your friends on a yacht trip to the Antarctic. Well, that being said, I think I might pick the latter. La Dacha isn't your average yacht at two hundred and fifty two feet long. The yacht is nearly the length of a football field. There are six floors which you can access using the sleek glass elevators on board and trust me you'll want to see every last floor on the top deck you'll find incredible outdoor and indoor space that blends seamlessly together inside the observation deck has floor to ceiling windows and custom designed furniture to give you a guys this is luxury i think guys this is luxury comfortable place to relax in the warm indoors. However, if you're sailing in the Caribbean or in the Oceana, the floor-to-ceiling windows open up completely. On the top deck, you'll also find the pool and hot tub. Like I said, there's nothing better than relaxing by the pool on the open sea. However, I think I might have to sit in a hot tub next to a glacier just to be sure. This area is also where the helicopters are located. Two of helicopters... Course, of course, yeah. Helicopter space must be this kind of yacht guys yeah this is super long so also yacht and man Oleg that guy rest on their helipads ready to take Russians. guests where they need to be but the helicopters aren't the only vehicles on board this giant vehicle you'll also find four jet skis one rescue boat one dive support boat one beach landing boat two expedition boats one submarine and two snowmobiles oh so God. yes you'll have your fair share of ways to travel once you're aboard of course you don't have to worry about being the one behind the wheel of any of 
the vehicles. Ladasha comes with a 25-person crew that'll guide you on catered expeditions depending on your location. In Micronesia, they'll take you and two guests underwater in the submarine to view the coral reefs from under the waves. Some people might not want to leave, however, and that makes perfect sense when we take a peek at what else the boat has to offer. The biggest draw is the full-sized Turkish spa on board. Relax in the hot sauna after snowmobiling across the ice of Greenland. Soak away your troubles in the Turkish bath. Or hop into the room beside the spa for a private mas- Of course, you must get some cool massage when you inside this kind of a super luxurious yacht. You know, I must get all, you need to get all this good stuff from the trained masseuse therapist on board. Whatever spa experience you're looking for, trust me, you can find it. And if you'd rather work out than relax, there's a full gym on board to make sure you can get those reps in. That being said, remember you're paying $850,000. That's huge. And spending that time holding a dumbbell, well, it doesn't sound like the best use of your time to me. Twelve oh, guests can come aboard Ladasha at a time. There are six suites, two of which are master suites. Each oh, suite is God. miles above Guys, any cruise. Can't you see? This is so beautiful. Man. Guys. This is you've ever been on, offering a lounge area with plush couches, beautiful views, and sleek, modern furnishings that feel clean and airy. Each suite also comes with a walk-in closet, which might be hard to fill with seven days' worth of clothes. There's also in-suite bathrooms attached. Each in-suite bathroom has soaking tubs, rainfall showers, his and her sinks, and granite floors that look like they've been cut from a crystal. The master suite, in particular, has a rather interesting bathroom. <clears throat> the tub sits in a glass. I, really, I really think I need to do more uh, research on that name, on that name, Landacha. I think I, I need to. outcrop giving whoever is bathing views of the entire suite, which is a thing some people may want, I suppose. The master suite dressing room has a massive window that looks out over the ocean. I have a feeling it would take me twice as long to get dressed with that view there, but I can't say I would mind it too much. There is a formal dining room on board where guests can be served breakfast, lunch, and dinner by a professional chef. The meals are sourced using local food, which provides an educational aspect to your journey. That being said, if you'd rather have pizza and Doritos, the chef will gladly whip those up for you. The yacht also comes with a few, well, uncommon features. There is a dive center with a compression chamber, which will come in handy for any guided dives you or your guests want to take on your trip. Set out directly from the yacht and feel like a badass while you're doing it. And feel if like any a of those badass. Go sour, well, don't worry. The yacht has a private hospital on board and a medical staff members that can take care of guests in case of an emergency. I suppose when you're breaking through 16-inch thick ice in the Arctic to go for a snowmobile ride, things are bound to happen eventually. If all that sounds incredible, remember that the week is only a suggestion. Ladasha can be at sea for up to 40 days with the size of her fuel tanks, meaning you can keep the fun going for over a month, as long as you have a couple million dollars uh, lying around. Sir over a couple of months to rain that Ladasha guy that's Millions, millions of dollars. Millions, millions, millions. This is quite expensive, but I pray we all get that good life, guys. Oh, there you have it. The La Dolce Yacht. I don't know about you guys, but yacht. I might rent this La thing Dolce out for a few weeks. Yacht. If anybody's up for a snowmobile adventures, let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Oh, and turn on post notifications. As always, I'm Mr. Luxury. Pip pip to doodly do. Oh wow, guys, that's it. We got it. That was the Laracha Super Yacht by a Russian billionaire. Guys, we just went into a Laracha Super Yacht right now. It cost over hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That's huge for rent. Guys, that's Super luxurious guys and it's cool to know about like that show, yeah. guys I hope you uh enjoy this video if you do uh leave a like on the, uh, in, in, leave a like on this video and share me your opinions
about if you know more other things about Ladacha you can leave me in the comment section. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and make sure you subscribe to the channel. More fire content coming guys. Peace and love. See you on the next one.